Hey everybody, Vaughn here with the Vonster vlog and welcome to what I think is day 183 of a year of yoga. <clears throat> we are going to be starting off today um, standing, but I'm just getting down on the ground a little bit, getting low uh, to see what we have in store for us today. Yeah, I do think it's, oh, 183. So we've officially... Um, <laughs> my friend Tracy had reminded me, um, I hit the six month mark. Like we've been doing this for half a year. Uh, and I'm kind of trying to reflect on that a little bit and let's practice some balance while we're here. I'm really glad that I'm doing it. I'm really glad to be doing the year of yoga. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to be, we're going to be moving a block again first thing today. Uh, it's really hard for me to make observations right now about, like, reflections about a year of yoga other than I'm just really, really glad that I'm doing it. Um, everything else is kind of just like an ego judgment. I honestly had hoped that I'd have lost like 100 pounds by now, <laughs> but I know and knew from the get-go that this was not about that. Uh, I don't feel as strong as I think I would have liked to have felt. I feel like I'm not learning as much as my fullest potential. I feel like I'm not doing as, like, it's, I, I'm in a very, like, dark mindset today, I think. So, uh, it's very difficult for me to make just an objective reflection that isn't tinted by my state of mind today. So we're going to do what we do and just keep on keeping on and just do the thing anyways. It doesn't matter. Whatever behind is behind. Let's just step forward into the present and just be here. It doesn't matter what is ahead of us. It doesn't matter what is behind us. We are here in this moment. And sometimes I have to get a little stern in myself to remind myself of that. But that's okay. So let's. Bring our awareness to our breath. Thank you guys so much again for joining me here for another day of a year of yoga. It's okay. I'm pretty tickled that we've done this for half a year. <laughs> it's hitting mean waves. Pull in a nice deep breath. Let it swirl and... Inhale, let's shift our weight over to the right side. Exhale, bringing that left knee up. Inhale, exhale, let's bow forward, putting our foot behind us. Whoa, what did I just, I don't know, hit the top of my foot on something and it startled me. <laughs> Pick up that block and just breathe doesn't really matter how you're doing it, just that you are actually doing it. Inhale our knee up. <laughs> Maybe. And setting it down. And back up. Exhale, bow forward to pick up the block. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, I don't think I'm here yet today. Let's just practice without the block. Inhaling that left knee up. Exhaling open. Inhale to the front and down. Let's practice that sequence. Inhale up. Exhale open. You can drop that toe if you need to. Inhale back to the front and down. Let's shift to the right. There we are.
inhale up on the left exhale open <laughs> inhale to the front oh my lanta i'm having such a hard time exhale down but that's okay even if we're struggling and flailing just keep going inhale up one more time on each side Inhale up, exhale open, inhale to the front, and exhale down. Very good, you guys. It's even if it's horrible, you still did good. Because <laughs> to have done it is better than not have done it. Yet. Not, not have done it, really? Then, I don't know, I think you get what I'm putting down. Inhale, arms up overhead, and swan dive forward into a forward fold. Let's spread our toes, gripping them onto the mat, leaning forward, bringing our heels off the earth, and then rocking back, bringing our toes up, but raising them evenly. You don't want to be just rolling your ankles out to the sides. Let your head and shoulders hang, decompressing through your back, keeping a micro bend in your knees. I'm going to walk my hands forward just a bit, bring our knees down to the mat, untuck our toes, and come into a thunderbolt position. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, just stretching our fingertips towards the earth, and adding in a little bit of a head circle, just stretching out our neck. Change directions. Let's go ahead and start walking our hands forward. We're going to do a little bit of cat cow in a nice undulation. Though while we're here in tabletop, engaging our abs just enough to make a neutral spine, let's make some circles with our feet. And now, come into that flow. You can start small and get a little bigger as you get warmed up. I was reading an article today. It talked about your emotional state and how it affects your athleticism or flexibility or just different parts of your body. And it had this like heat measurer. And I have no idea how much of it was Photoshop and how much of it was uh, actual science, but... It was an interesting concept because it showed depression and sadness and grief as being very cold in the limbs. And so I'm going to try to really warm things up a little bit more today just to try to get the blood flowing to the very tips of my extremities, my fingertips, my toes, the top of my head, my ears, just really heating everything up. Change direction again. There we go. Because the heat starts in our core and then works its way out. Our next posture is threading the needle. 
So let's inhale, extend our left arm forward. And I'm actually going to try doing this with my right hand up on a block just to see what happens. So as we exhale, I'm going to thread my left arm through under my right. <sighs> oh my gosh. So it's a much deeper stretch <laughs> into my back. It might be a little too deep. Yeah, I think I like it better just on the ground. So we don't know till we try. Inhale and exhale. Come up out of it. Inhaling, extending our right arm forward. And exhale, thread through. It really opens up my lat, like, all the way down on each side of my spine. I really like that. It's a challenging stretch, but it stretches something that nothing else does. So I think that's important. So from here, we are going to do some, let's shoot for five downward dog plank flows. So I'm preparing with my hands first, making sure I have good contact between my fingertips and palms and everything to the mat. My index fingers are parallel to each other. My fingers are well spaced so that they feel wide and supportive, not too wide, but inhale, let's extend our back leg and exhale up to plank. Inhale, and exhale to downward facing dog. Relaxing our neck, head and shoulders, relaxing our face. Inhale, and plank. Inhale, and downward facing dog. I think I'm just going to do three rotations of this, not five. So up next is our last one. Let's inhale, and... Inhale, and downward facing dog. <sighs> Maybe shifting our weight from side to side, really getting into the back of our legs. Inhale, and exhale nice and slow, bringing our knees down back to child's pose. And from here, we're in a nice wide knee to child's pose. Let's actually tuck our toes under and we are going to shift our weight back. Maybe boying a bit. It's actually, let's practice some more boings. So we'll boing up. Two. Three. Four. You don't have to go very high. Five. If that doesn't get the heart pounding and the blood moving, then, well, something else probably will. But while we're here, let's shift our weight from side to side. I'm actually going to come up out of the squat nice and slow and then come back down into chair pose. This gets my knees right and it gets my posture where I want it to be. So now 
clips come in to garland pose me i gotta go with the cat in <laughs> maintaining the alignment of our knees over our feet and maintaining that proud posture through our upper body so let me go let the cat in real quick i cannot deny her she is my little rage putums well come on in Okay, and then back to our garland pose. And there we are. And you can use a stack of blocks underneath you. Oh, hey, pretty girl. Remember to breathe. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, big girl. We're all out of Valerie and Root. You ate it all. <laughs> now from here, I'm going to put my left hand on the ground in front of my left foot. Inhale and exhale. Reaching up with my right arm and following my hand with my gaze. On back down. Placing our right hand on the mat in front of our right foot. Trying to not pin the cat's tail. <laughs> Inhale and exhale. Twisting up to the left. Remembering to breathe. Inhale, and exhale, come on down. From here, let's place our hands on the mat or on a block or blocks if, if you rather. Inhale and pressing up nice and slow into a forward fold. And we'll make a little bit of a flow out of this. So we'll inhale up. And exhale, coming back down. Inhale up, exhaling down. We can even bring our feet a little closer if you rather. And from here, let's inhale and exhale. Rolling up one vertebrae at a time. Hoo-wee. Let's turn the page and see what's up next. Okay, I already feel like I've gotten my butt kicked by it, but we're going to keep going. <laughs> Probably one of my favorite things about having done yoga for a year is it just, or for six months, but hopefully by the end of the year, I'll still like this. Um, it's given me some semblance of a work-life balance um, because I now take at least an hour a day for if not doing yoga for the full hour, but lighting my candles, playing with the cat, like petting her. We had a little pre-yoga cuddle session on the couch and that was really nice. And just, if no other benefit, which there are other benefits, but if no other thing can be derived from this, at least I've taken an hour a day to just not be working, even though it is still technically doing stuff for the vlog. But dude, if this is the longest I have done yoga 
every single day is a personal record. <laughs> and if recording it and putting it to the internet is what it takes to get me to do what I want to do. <laughs> because like otherwise, if it's something like just for fun, like just doing yoga for fun, like nobody's paying me to do this. Like, I mean, so <laughs> anyways, um, it, I just won't do it. Like posting the videos has kept me accountable. It has kept me showing up because it's like, well, well, shoot, I've got to. <laughs> so that's good. That accountability has been really nice. So thank you guys for holding me accountable, whether you're aware of it or not, just by having clicked on my big dumb face, you're helping me to reach my goals. <laughs> So as we stand here, I'm interlacing my fingers and kind of just running my knuckles down my sacrum past my tailbone. <sighs> Trying to open up across my chest, <sighs> bringing those elbows and shoulders back. Doing a bit more of a stretch through my neck. I can hear Ember purring from here. She's been nonstop making biscuits on my robe. I love that cat. It's ridiculous. Okay, let's inhale one last time, lifting our chest towards the sky, reach, reach, reaching our knuckles towards the ground. And let's exhale. Inhale, raising arms overhead. Exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale, up. Exhale back down. Deepest forward fold of the day. Before we walk our hands forward. And come on down through to a plank. And then lower. Woo! Really nice and slow. Inhale. Exhale. Pushing up and back into cobra. And from here, exhale, push up into plank again. <sighs> Inhale and downward facing dog. I'm going to move my left foot towards the center line of my body. Inhale, lifting that back leg up. Exhale, bring my knee, trying to reach it to my right elbow. And move with your breath. Last one on this side. Inhale, reach, reach, reach up. Exhale, reach, reach, reach. Oh, and I'm actually going to come down out of that for just a moment. My heart is just a pounding. 95 beats per minute, my ass. I, <laughs> I guess it's just pounding loudly, not quickly, but that's fine. <laughs> Anytime that it feels whew, like a lot. Just take a minute. It's not a race. It is not a race. It's better that we... Ooh, let's make some circles with our hands. It's better that we give our bodies a moment to catch its breath, to catch up, to regain our bearings and our balance. Refind our strength. Change directions with your hands. Then to just push on through because it's the quality of what we're accomplishing here, not the quantity of it, not the speed of it. We're looking for quality, intentional movement. Okay. So let's return to our tabletop position. Inhale, extending that back leg. Exhale, up to plank. Inhale and exhale, downward facing dog.
moving my right foot to the center line of my body. I'm going to inhale, bringing my left foot up. And exhale, bringing that knee. Almost touched my elbow, but not quite there. And can repeat this movement with your breath. Back to downward facing dog. Inhale and exhale. Come on down to tabletop and let's walk back Ooh, to Thunderbolt. What's my heart rate out now? 109. Slightly better. <laughs> maybe I, I don't know. Maybe I don't have it on right. Ooh, I definitely feel heated up. Ooh. Let's do a little bit more. We can kind of. Just do little hand flips. Just changing direction. There we go. Sometimes doing just weirding it up a little bit, taking something that we normally do as a slow and sensuous movement and making it ch -ch 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 -ch, like choppy, like a little flourish, maybe. Uh, just mixing it up. Why not? Keeps it spicy. <sighs> okay. We can do this, you guys. So let us come from Thunderbolt position. <sighs> We're going to come up onto our knees. Actually, before we come up onto our knees, I'm going to walk my hands back behind me. And let's pushing forward into it's not quite a bridge, but I'm just tucking my pelvis or yeah, tucking my pelvis, engaging my glutes, pushing my hips forward. This gets nice and deep into my deltoids and like shoulders and chest like all through that rotator cuff area as well as across the entirety of my quadriceps and hip flexors and come on down and out of that before we come up onto our knees inhale bringing that left foot forward tucking that back toes under Whew. exhale into high lunge and then lower that back foot down, making it parallel to the mat, keeping our left knee traveling through the center line of our left foot. Warrior two. Reaching through our fingertips, reaching through the top of our head. Inhale, bringing both of our feet forward. Exhale, five pointed star. Inhale, turning those right toes out, and exhale, bending our right knee over our right foot. Inhale, rotating, coming up onto those back toes. To exhale, high lunge on the right. Let's inhale, bringing that back foot down again. Let's exhale into a side extension, a right elbow on our right knee.
Let's inhale, coming up to a five-pointed star. Inhale, rotating our left foot out. Exhale, bending knee, elbow to knee, and side extension. And from here, we will cartwheel our arm around, bring our hands to the mat, and bring that left foot back, and we'll hold in plank for a moment before lowering down nice and slow. Inhale, put our feet nice and wide. Exhale, up into cobra. Maybe stretch your neck a little bit. You want to be engaging the muscles of your back so that if you were to let go with your arms, you're not going to face plant. And push up and through, back into child's pose. So from here, we can sit and continue any breathing exercises or meditations that we might want to engage in, maybe just listening to our breath and seeing what it has to say. Thank you guys so much for joining me here for another day of a year of yoga. I cannot wait to see you guys again tomorrow. It feels really good to be in the, we've hit that halfway mark and now it's just more of the same really but that's kind of wonderful when it's something that you love more of the same is exactly what I'm looking for thank you guys again and I will see y'all tomorrow so until then y'all keep on keeping on bye <laughs>